a Las Vegas pastor and former second grade teacher has pleaded guilty, has been charged with child misdeeds. This is a uh, this is a crazy story. We're gonna get into all the details here, guys, in less than ten seconds. First, though, if you could please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. This is 59-year-old pastor Reynaldo Cruz Crespin. And as I mentioned here, in addition to being a pastor, also a second grade teacher, well, was a second grade teacher. He has now pleaded guilty to attemptive child lewdness. Now, there were other charges that were brought against him and those have since been dismissed. This was, by the way, with a child under the age of 14. Now, because he was able to reach a plea agreement here, he's not going to have to face a trial, but he is looking at spending anywhere between two to 20 years in prison, and his sentencing is scheduled for August 15th. Now, as far as how all of this happened and all of this started, he was actually arrested back in February after several warrants were out for his arrest. Uh, again, there were multiple uh, claims of these child misdeeds that were brought against him at the time. He was arrested in February, and it was at that same time, and you got to understand here that this is a guy and his wife that had started the church, uh, New Horizon Christian Church, located there in Las Vegas, it started this church back in 2002. Now, the same a month that he was arrested in February was also the same time that his wife had filed a lawsuit for sole custody of their children. Okay. So obviously she knew what was going on. It was not any way safe for this guy to be around the kids. Now, if he is to get out here, you know, whenever that is, and we don't know how many years he's going to be sentenced yet at this time, but he's looking at, you know, being labeled an offender here and, and going to have to need supervision constantly if he is ever to be around kids again, which, hey, you know what? You need 100%. Now, according to the reports, uh, the child or the children that were involved here were not any that were his students. He was reportedly a second grade teacher from 2016, uh, just up to earlier this year, 2022. Um, we don't know exactly if this was a child that was associated with the church or not, they have not released that information as of yet. Uh, and found it interesting too, because several outlets had tried to reach out to the church for comment, and the number apparently was disconnected. And I said, you know what, I wanna do a little bit more investigating myself. So I tried to go to the church's website, and it said, I got one of those, you know, 403, 404 errors, not found or forbidden, you know, a little message that pops up. So they took the website down as well. Uh, so obviously not a good look there. They don't want to answer any questions about what happened here. Now, what I don't know is, and what hasn't been said is, uh, at what point, you know, was he dismissed from the church? Was this prior to the arrest? You know, again, he was arrested in New Mexico back in February. So, you know, whether there was another pastor at the time that was heading up things there at the church in his absence or not, that I'm not really sure of, or what the future of the church will be going forward. Now, of course, if you are somebody that's there in the Vegas area, if you attended New Horizon Christian Church, uh, you have a little bit more information on this. You know, I encourage you, uh, go ahead and leave that information uh, in the comments. You can let us know, uh, you know, what the church's plans are. Again, if they, you know, if Ronaldo here and his wife had, you know, founded the church in 2002, you know, where is it going to go from here? Or is it just going to fall? I guess that's another possibility as well. Uh, this is, again, another example. These pastors getting exposed uh, for being the snakes that they are and doing these sort of disgusting things uh, behind the scenes. And we don't know how long this was going on. You know, this is a 59-year-old married pastor with kids of his own, and he's doing this junk. Uh, with children underage. I mean, it's it's absolutely disgusting, and these things always hurt, uh, not just the the kids and the people that are involved, the families, but the congregations of these churches as well that trust these pastors, that sit there 
uh, every single Sunday or if they have a midweek service and they're, you know, they're under their tutelage and they're learning, you know, they're supposed to be shepherding the flock and they do these sorts of things and it just, all it does is just ruin the trust and causes people to not want to come back. Uh, but, you know, we've been talking about for a while, God's exposing a lot and I think he's going to continue to do so. He's trying to clean house. He's trying to get his church ready. He wants to, you know, he's coming back for a wrinkle-free, uh, you know, church spot and wrinkle-free. And so it's going to continue from here. Guys, if you enjoy my daily content here, talk about end time Bible prophecy headlines. If you'd like to help support with a generous donation, you can click the link to my PayPal. It's down below or click the link to my Patreon in the description. You could sign up there just five bucks a month. When you do that, you will be alerted for all the content I put out because YT barely puts any notifications out for anything I do anymore. You can also leave your comments there censorship free. Send me direct messages. Don't forget these videos also go out on my Rumble platform. So make sure you give me a sub there too and check it out from time to time because you never know when I could get the bounce off of YT. All those links are down below. A big, big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. And as always, we never want to leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that is you, if you are watching this right now and you have yet to receive Christ, well, I want to lead you in a prayer to get you to do just that. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. As the first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are, but let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.